Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the answer to a request I recently had. Someone wanted to do a match or a VLOOKUP of a date in an array that was in text that was a combination of dates and times. So let's see how we can accomplish this in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a date here in cell D1 and you can tell if I go to the home screen here that it's formatted as a date. And here I have an array here that has dates and times and you can see these are formatted as text. So I want to either use the match function or the VLOOKUP function to find this date in this array of text that has date and times and either find the row number in with the match function or return the value from column G in VLOOKUP. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go to uh, cell J1 and I'm going to type equals match and what I want to match is I'm going to convert that date to a text. So I'm going to say text select this value comma and I'm going to format it as month, day, and year and I'm going to concatenate that with an asterisk to make it a wild card. And now my lookup array is this list here and my match type is going to be exact. I close my parentheses, hit enter, and notice 1111 returns row 6. If I go down here, 1111 2019 at 11 p.m. returns row 6. If I change this to 1118, notice it becomes row 4, which is that is where 1118 is. Now just to simplify it, I'm going to highlight my lookup here because I'm going to use that in my VLOOKUP. I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP and again I'm going to use that same lookup value. Text of D1 in the format month, date, and year and concatenate that with an asterisk. And my table array is going to be this range here. My, I'm going to return column number two and I want an exact match close my parentheses and I get 400. Again for 1118 it'll return 400. Change it to 1125 and I should get a 2 and 200. So that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet please subscribe to my blog at my website excel-bytes.com or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day and happy excelling.